Okay, what else do we have? Uh, containers, right? So I mentioned containers. In fact, that last example was installing a couple of packages within a container and how I might actually try to uh, optimize that by not installing those weak dependencies. So what do we get in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 related to containers? Well, you get a full redesigned set of runtime tools, okay? Um, now, if you've dealt with containers before, uh, you have probably used Docker, right? So uh, you might have been using Docker, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, and Docker, the the Docker package, you know, Docker worked as a uh, as a client. There was also a daemon that was associated with it, and y you know, in some ways, it was pretty monolithic. And you know, one of the things Red Hat wanted to do uh, was was kind of break some of the stuff up a little bit, give uh, give some some tighter focus to some of the tools. So there's a tool called Podman, and it really replaces Docker and Moby, right? Supports most of Docker's functionality. In fact, one of the things you can do, uh, let's say I were to do a yum list, uh, anything that's got Docker in the name. There's a package here called podman-docker. What does this package do? You know, it's making it so that if you run Docker, it's really just running uh, Podman in the background, okay? So um, it should be able to work. You know, you could create a symbolic link yourself. You can install this Podman Docker uh, package, but, you know, Podman gives uh, some extra, extra benefits uh, over Docker. Uh, and so some of the extra tools that you get, and one of the tools is Scopio. So yeah, it depends on if you worked with uh, with with containers before, but in the past, right, there was a point where you could use a command like Docker search. You know, Docker search. I want to find a particular container image, and you know, eventually, you might have found that that stopped working. You know, Docker search works with uh, version one of the Docker registry. If you're using version two, it didn't work. Uh, well, Scopio is a tool that can do this. Now, keep in mind, you know, I was reading, uh, Scopio means remote viewing in Greek, and, you know, uh, some of the developers of Scopio, one of the things that they wanted to do, you know, they submitted a, a request, you know, a pull request, uh, uh, get, get request for, um, to the Docker team. They said, you know, it would be really nice if we could inspect information, right, inspect a JSON file uh, with information about a container remotely. Now, I don't want to pull the container down to my system to take a look at it and realize, yeah, this, this isn't really what I want. Now, some containers, they're pretty small, you know, big deal, who cares? Other containers can actually be pretty big. And so they didn't want to have to, um, you know, pull it down, you know, pull down an image every time to just inspect it. Well, the request got rejected. And so they went about uh, creating this tool for themselves. Um, and, you know, in addition to being able to check, um, you know, and examine information about containers remotely, uh, that tool, the Scopio tool, that is quite a bit, right? So it has the ability to copy, you know, copy images, um, container images over to a registry. Uh, it can pull them down. It has the ability to delete. Um, you can tag them. You can verify signatures to kind of, uh, verify the authenticity of an image. So Scopio does does that uh, that component now. If I kind of come back over here to Builda, um, Builda gives you the ability to build containers, right? Now, again, depends on how much you've used containers before. One of the benefits of using containers is that you're kind of you have the ability to offload some of the work to someone else. And so I might have started with a Docker file, and a Docker file, if you've used that before, always has a from line. You know, I'm building off of this other one. Right? So someone's worked on this other one. I'm building from that. And, uh, and again, that actually provides some really good benefits. Right? So uh, if you haven't gone to, uh, oops. if you haven't gone to, um, you know, if you haven't gone to Red Hat's container registry, you know, you might search for Red Hat containers or uh, access.redhat.com slash containers. You know, the, the container registry, it provides supported images from Red Hat. Um, and, and again, there's all sorts of stuff here. I mean, let's say I was to search for, I don't know, PHP. Um, but you'd find, you know, 
Red Hat is working on maintaining these images for you. And, you know, an image, it doesn't oftentimes take too long before an image gets outdated. You know, security issues pop up. This particular image, um, I can see it's got an A rating. Okay, are they all going to have A ratings? Nope. You know, they're not all going to have A ratings. In fact, if I start looking back, you know, a month ago, now that image, which was created a month ago, it's got a B rating. This image two months ago, C. Three months ago, it's a D. Well, it wasn't D when it got released. You know, uh, when it got released, it had an A rating. It was uh, no, uh, free from any known issues. But since then, issues have popped up. And you can always drill into this. The bottom line that I'm getting into this with going back to Builda, um, Builda actually gives you the ability if you wanted to create a container from scratch. Right, so it's actually got a build from scratch, you know, the, the ability to create a brand new container. And you can put exactly what you want into it. Okay, but here's the particular versions of package. You can customize it as you want. So, um, and again, yes, there's lots of tools now that can help out with this. Docker files could still be used. Ansible could be used. Builda could be used. Um, but this is a tool, right? So it's a tool that happens to be available, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Uh, so you've got Podman, uh, which can be used to run different containers. Uh, build, it can be build containers. Scopio can search for containers. Uh, we've got Cryo, right? So Cryo happens to be um, the CRI is the container runtime uh, interface, right? Uh, OCI, right? Open, uh, open Container Initiative. So Cryo is the container runtime interface to run OCI or Open Container Initiative compliant containers. It's a lighter weight alternative uh, to using Docker and uh, really, really specialized for, for Kubernetes. So, again, lots of uh, uh, extra tools that happen to be available to you uh, in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Now, you know, when, when the, uh, again, I was an instructor at the time, and when the classes for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uh, were released, uh, our System Administration 3 class, in the very last chapter, uh, of content, it had, I don't know, a page, you know, something like that, a couple of paragraphs about containers, like, hey, you know, containers, um, th they're probably going to be a big deal. At the time, they weren't. It was still very early on. Um, but, you know, it's like, they're, they're probably going to be a big deal. And we had, again, a couple of paragraphs, maybe uh, one of our books. What do we have now? You guys now again this 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 class you know is focusing on some of the uh, interesting things with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 but since you know since Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 during the course of uh, you know the, the life of that product and, and our, our uh, courses around it we actually started teaching a bunch of classes related to containers and OpenShift so here's just kind of an idea of some of those classes you know uh, an introduction to containers Kubernetes and OpenShift containerizing software applications OpenShift Administration 1 and 2. Uh, there's an OpenShift development, right, uh, on containerizing applications. Um, and, uh, again, the security for containers. Containers have become a big thing. Again, when, when uh, RHEL 7 was released, it's like, yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be that. And it is, okay? So whether or not you're using containers or have started using containers, um, you're likely to start using them. And Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 uh, gives you lots of tools available, um, you know, uh, to, to really help out with that.